Okay, this is Steve at the Steve's Locksmith Shop. Just thought I'd do a video. This is on a um, slot machine a customer brought in. I thought it was a pretty cool item, so I thought I'd do a video and show you guys. This is an antique slot machine. I guess, because it is quarters. So I guess this is probably from the 30s. Um, it has wood panel sides. Um, they brought in no keys. Um, it appears to be jammed up. So I made a set of keys for it, and uh, I'm going to tell you how I did it. So what I did is, first thing I picked up, this is a little four-pin uh, Yale locks. But, you know, believe it or not, being from the 30s, it still had security pins in it. So I thought that was interesting. Um, normally, you know, a lock that old isn't going to have uh, mushroom pins in it. So probably because it is a slot machine, they did that. Um, pretty much after I pick it, the cylinder will be turned sideways and if you look on here I was all excited we'll see if I can get some good light on here so you guys could see it okay okay so if you see there there's a key code and I was like oh I'm home free so it was YW1792 you guys could look that up on your software so I looked that up on my software and the code's not in there. So I was bumming. So I looked, I have old code books, old read code books. So I decided to try to look it up in there. And it still wasn't in there, the code. And so it's probably somewhere, but I don't have the code. So I already had it picked sideways. So what I did is I have this little Chinese, um, uh, uh, what is it called? Fiber optic light. I was able to put in there, and because it's turned sideways, I tipped the door on the side so the tumblers drop down into the lock so I could see all the different depths of the tumblers. And then what I did is I just looked up on the code software on my um, generic code, and I typed in the key blank number, which was a Y6 jet number. Um, I think that's a 997 Ilco number, something like that. Anyways, so I punched that in, and it gave me the um, uh, the card information uh, for that. So I knew how many tumblers there are. There were seven different tumblers, and I could tell the different heights of the tumblers with a scope. So because there's four tumblers, I could pretty much take a couple guesses. I think I cut like four different keys before I got one to work correctly. But anyways, I just thought I'd show you guys this cool look at the inside of there. How would you like to work on that? A lot different than our locks. So I'm glad the guy didn't say, hey, we fix this thing for me? Because I'd be like, oh, yeah, right. But anyways, I just thought I'd show you this. It was a cool thing. I get a lot of cool stuff when you have a shop. I know a lot of you guys that watch my channel are mobile, and you don't see stuff like this. I get stuff like this in all the time, and I think it's a, it's, it's a, fun, it's a fun thing to work on. What I pretty much charge for doing this, if in case anybody's wondering, I do charge $90 an hour. And so to uh, make keys for this and uh, the keys, I charge a minimum of one hour. So the guy's going to pay 90 bucks for those keys. So just to give you an idea of what it is, and then another item I got in the other day, this is a um, safe they wanted a combination set for. And just so you know, prices, what I charge a set of combination, this was a hand change but I charge 55 bucks. So it doesn't matter if it's a hand change or a key change, I still charge 55 bucks, even though the hand changes take longer. But, uh, so yeah, just two, two items that came in the other day. I thought I'd show them to you. The customer's probably gonna pick them up today. And uh, just a cool item. And just take a look at my shop, in case you guys haven't seen any of my other videos. You know, I'm really proud of this building. We bought this about seven years ago, and this year I will have it paid off, the building. And uh, my wife also does trophy work. So we have two businesses here. We do trophy and engraving that my wife does, and sometimes I get stuck doing it. It's not my favorite thing. And then I do the locksmithing. And uh, if you see, my office is a disaster. And this is my next big project. I am planning on totally revamping my work area in here and I will do some other videos. I, I tend to spend too much time on my van on organizing it and setting it up but the uh, the I kind of neglect my shop which I shouldn't because I'm in here just as much as my van and uh, anyways I thought I'd do a video.
talk to you later, guys.